Hello, friends, and um, happy Friday. Um, my lighting is going to be all kinds of wonky because I'm trying to get lighting on my desk um, for the doodle. So um, it has been a crazy, 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 crazy little bit. Um, I have been uh, trying to make time to be creative and I have definitely found it to be challenging. It's just a crazy time um, with our personal schedules and our work schedules and everything. But um, today I did want to um, force myself to take some creative time and just let my brain unwind because it is Friday. It has been one heck of a week and I'm ready for the weekend, but I really need to take some time to just decompress. Um, I am going to a ladies event at church tonight. So I'm really excited about that. That's just going to be some mom time away from all the things I am looking forward to that. But, um, as I kind of wrap up my work week and, and really look forward to the weekend weekend, I did just want to, um, come do some doodling. So if you watched yesterday's doodle, I shared it on, um, on my Facebook page and on YouTube. So if you follow me on Facebook, it's at the blended mama CC is how you can find me. Facebook.com slash the blended mama CC. Um, I did post it. It was, um, kind of an extension of the, the one from Tuesday or so I guess maybe I posted it Wednesday. I don't remember. Um, it's been a long week, y'all. Um, so I had done this little pumpkin doodle. Um, and then my daughter came and added in the flower and the bird on the limb. So what I'm going to do today is if you watched the video, then you, you heard us kind of talk about extending this doodle down into the lower section. So that's actually what I'm going to be doing today. Um, so again, I'm just kind of taking some time to, sorry, that's my dog, um, to just chill a little bit and, and allow my brain to just be creative. So what we had talked about doing was um, basically we're going to put this into a pot. So I'm going to just draw a pot here. And um, it has been a long time since I have had to draw like any kind of shape. So what I'm going to do, we'll do kind of a, a cylinder, but we're going to, it's not, not going to be, not like ice cream cone, but it's not, um, not one shape either. And I'm going to give it um, this little thick little layer. So it looks a little more like a coffee cup at the moment. Maybe I just have coffee on the brain. I don't know. Um, so that's going to be the coffee pot or the, <laughs> see, look y'all, coffee. It is not coffee. It's a plant, a potted plant. Um, so I wanted to put it on a table as well. So I'm going to, and it's just going to be a, um, a small table. Um, I guess I don't need to put it on the edge of the table though, which is what I'm doing right there. That's not quite right. All right. So let's see. So we need the table to extend backwards and this way. And it's going to come like this. And it's going to have an edge to it. And of course, it's going to have to have legs. So I'm not super certain that this is, you know, actually an accurate kind of picture here, but this is what we're going with people. We are drawing a table. Um, nope, that's not right. It needs to be like that. Goodness. It needs another dimension on it though. Which way? This way? Nope, that's wrong. That 
that's not right. Which way do I need to add? Goodness. Y'all, this is why I'm I'm not I'm not an artist. I'm gonna have to ask my daughter how to make that leg look more like an actual table leg. I didn't like the length, it looked too short. Maybe it's like doing like that. Maybe I just need a line down the middle. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here, y'all. Alrighty, so now we have a potted plant on a table. Um, so I am, and if you have, you know, tips for my drawing skills, feel free. I won't take it personally because I know that this is not my area of expertise. So I will not be offended at all. Um, if you say, Teresa, this is how you should have done it because I know that this is not perfect and that is okay. All right, so I'm going to draw this, draw the table. So I got the table part. Like, I feel like this table top is right. It's the legs that I am just struggling with. I did take some time yesterday to be creative as well. So yesterday was a soccer day. And um, maybe it is just having this kind of line down it. Oh, that does make it, that, that looks like a leg. Oh, that makes it look so much better, y'all. Okay, maybe that's all I needed. Alrighty. It was hard to see it in the pencil, though. So the other thing I want to show you, so I am using the, um, I'm going to come back in color. Um, so I am using the creative outlet insert, which I love. Sorry, trying to get this up where you can see it. Um, so I, yeah, that's the insert I'm using. What I also did was I took, so I have these fun, um, they're actually pins but I do have these fun pens. And what I did was I used the swatch page, which is back here a little bit. Um, and you can actually get this as a whole insert. It's our swatch insert, um, but it does have a page here. And so what I did was I took the pens and I colored a little corner and then I wrote the name of them so that I could see what color things were going to be um, because they are definitely not always what they look like here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use those to do some of the coloring, I think, um, that was back here. All right, so we kind of want like a terracotta color. Let's do, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and use that patchouli on the leaf here and the stem. So I'm gonna color in my daughter's flower. I think she'll be okay with that. So we'll do that. And then we want, so what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna use this journal card to mark my page. So this is the free journal card that you get if you place an order with me this month. Um, so you can go to theblendedmama.com slash shop and that will um, take you to my shopping page and you're welcome to go ahead and start looking at some stuff. Um, let's see, what color do we want to do that pot? Oh, let's go with this vetiver. It's like a deep terracotta color. So we're gonna just color this in and I'm not doing like super thick coloring. I just, I'm not gonna make it a solid. We're gonna just, kind of shade it in a little bit here. And I'll probably come back and add like a second color in there. Um, and maybe we'll just do these, two, like the top and the bottom, these two things. 
this vetiver color and then we'll come back with another shade for the center. Actually, let's do a fun little design in it. I'm just going to do some diagonals. So that's all I'm doing. It's just some fun little diagonals um, uh, and not even necessarily making it like a solid line. Um, with like firm edges. And I'm leaving that not colored in on purpose, although I probably want a little bit of an edge on it. And then the rest is I'm going to do like a brown for the dirt that is going to be in there. Maybe I need to. All right. So let's see what we had that was brown. Let's do that cocoa. Cocoa for the dirt here. Really needs to be more of a, like a chocolate, but we'll go with this one. And I'm going to color in. Mm, oh, that caramel. We'll color this in with caramel here. That caramel might have been better for the dirt, but that's okay. We're going to color in the pot that way. You can totally. So, you know, just by taking a few minutes, I can already feel like I was starting to get a headache earlier. I can already kind of feel the, the edge coming off of that. So that's a lovely benefit here of just, you know, taking that time to, to settle yourself, to settle your mind and um, just let your brain relax a little bit. All right, so I'm going to use this rose color on the flower itself because I like pink flowers. And I'm going to actually use some different um, pins on the table. because I don't have a ton of colors with these particular ones. So, of course, I have more. I have a, I love pens. So, I have plenty, plenty, plenty. I think I'm going to do like a light gray on the top here. And so, this, this one I have um, like the marker end. So, it does color in a little bit better. So we're going to do a light gray on the top, and then I do have a darker gray that I'm going to do the legs. Just so it has a little bit of kind of depth to it, maybe. I don't know. I probably should have put something else on the table, but alas, I did not, and I've already colored. So there you go. Now I'm going to have to figure out what else to fill this space with, these other spaces. Since I made my doodle go across multiple. But I think that's totally okay. You could listen, th these are your inserts. You can do whatever you want with them. I think I'm actually going to have to find the black and um, do, do one, one side of it black and the other side of this charcoal. see it. I lost that little delineation there. I think I did that one the wrong, but that's okay. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. All righty. So there we have the extension from yesterday's doodle and um, onto making it a plant on top of a table. So super cute. Um, and now I'm going to have to chat with Tori and say, hey, what do I do with the rest of it? I'm thinking maybe like a rug under the table, maybe, with some kind of fun design on it. I don't know. Maybe we'll make it like a reading nook and we can put some like a bookshelf over here. I don't know. Um, now, I wish I had thought about all this, you know, before I started the doodle and, and made it like a really cool thing. Um, but we'll go with it. Listen, it's always fun to just, you know, add as you go, make things better. 
Um, but I will be on Sunday. I will be using another um, of the pages for a weekly um, layout. So I'm guessing I will probably do this one um, as my next weekly layout. So this should be fun. Um, and you, there is actually enough, depending on the, how your weekends go, probably not for mine. Um, I'm probably going to use some of the blocks for some to-do lists, that sort of thing. Um, but in theory, if you just needed Monday to Friday, you could actually use this for your Monday to Friday and then using this open space for your weekend information. So you could actually make this two weeks, but I'm going to just make it one. Um, so this is what you'll see on Sunday. So um, if you are planning to do some planning, keep your eyes open. I will have a picture of my final product um, just because of how my schedule is. Listen, y'all, it is insane for this weekend. We have um, church on Sunday and then the kids have fine arts launch. And then um, I have a leader call and DJ and I have our business meeting. And then we're also doing family pictures and I need to do my planning for the week and, 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 oh, and the kids have small groups. So it is a lot of ands for this Sunday. So I will not be able to do a live planning session but I will make sure that I post a picture of my final product once it is done. So I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, I would love to see some of your doodles. So feel free to um, comment on this picture on this video picture. Comment on this video. Feel free to share them with me. If you want to send them to me, you can email them to Teresa at the Um, But I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys later. Stay tuned for the next doodle. Bye.